The big shift to tiny electric vehicles is underappreciated in the United States and Europe, where, despite the popularity of electric bicycles and scooters, the focus has been mainly on cars. The global majority, though, doesn't roll on four wheels. Big oil faces a tiny foe on the streets of Asia and Africa. The noisy, noxious vehicles that run on two and three wheels, carrying billions of people daily, are quietly going electric, in turn knocking down oil demand by one million barrels a day this year. In Kenya and Rwanda, dozens of startups are vying to replace oil-guzzling motorcycle taxis with battery-powered ones. In India, more than half of all new three-wheeled vehicles sold and registered this year were battery-operated. Indonesia and Thailand are also encouraging electrification of motorcycle taxis. China dominates the market. Its government began promoting electric vehicles decades ago in a bid to clean its smog-choked cities, which explains why a vast majority of the world's electric two-wheelers are in China. The shift to electric mobility overall has reduced global oil demand by 1.8 million barrels every day, according to Bloomberg Neff, a research arm of Michael Bloomberg's financial data and media company. Two- and three-wheelers account for 60% of that reduction, or 1.08 million barrels. Taken together, cars and smaller electric vehicles are projected to displace only 4% of total oil demand this year. Still, their growth is vital to the energy transition because transportation accounts for about 20% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Of all the changes the world is making to slow further warming, electric vehicle sales are the only category on track to meet climate goals, according to an exhaustive independent study. Electric vehicles also solve the more immediate problem of air pollution, which the World Health Organization links to an estimated 7 million premature deaths annually. The big shift to tiny electric vehicles is underappreciated in the United States and Europe, where, despite the popularity of electric bicycles and scooters, the focus has been mainly on cars. The global majority, though, doesn't roll on four wheels. In Nairobi and in Hanoi, Vietnam, motorcycles serve as taxis. In Mumbai, India, scooters can carry a family of four. In China, electric bicycles are how millions commute. Electric bikes are quieter, much more efficient and good for the environment, said Jesse Forrester, the founder of Mazi Mobility, which has 60 electric motorcycle taxis, known as Boda Bodas, on the roads in Nairobi. There's a quiet revolution now in Kenya driving this transformation for the future. Forrester's firm is among several competing to establish an electric two-wheeler ecosystem, selling or assembling imported bikes, installing chargers and working with lenders to offer cheap credit. Elsewhere, established motorcycle manufacturers are rolling out battery-powered models, including an electric scooter for under $1,800 by India-based Hero Motocorp. Ride-sharing companies, such as Ola, also based in India, are getting in on the business. And Honda recently said it was investing $3.40 billion with the aim of selling 4 million electric motorcycles a year by 2030. The biggest obstacle to small electric vehicles is government policy. Countries like Mexico that subsidize oil rather than batteries have few electric two- and three-wheelers, or as Carla Ramirez, a motorcycle dealer in Mexico City, put it, they are a niche product. Shifting focus on electric three-wheeler across Asia. The electric three-wheeler market in the Asia-Pacific region is experiencing significant growth and transformation, driven by various factors and characterized by diverse market dynamics and opportunities. Market growth and trends. The Asia-Pacific electric three-wheeler market is projected to reach USD 3.39 billion by 2030, registering a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 12.3% from 2023 to 2030. This growth is primarily fueled by increasing government initiatives to promote electric vehicles, EVs, the expansion of the e-commerce industry resulting in high demand for last-mile delivery services, and rising awareness regarding environmental concerns. Moreover, consistent rises in fuel prices and an increasing number of startups offering various electric three-wheeler models are estimated to drive regional market growth during this period. Market Segmentation the market is segmented based on battery type, power, and end use. The lithium-ion battery segment is expected to register the highest growth due to technological advancements in battery technology and the discovery of several lithium reserves in Asia-Pacific countries. The above 1500W segment is anticipated to grow significantly, 
with these vehicles being used in industries like mining, construction, manufacturing, and logistics. The goods carrier segment, boosted by the increasing use of electric three-wheelers for e-commerce delivery, is also expected to witness substantial growth. Country-specific insights. India holds the largest market share, with over 51% in 2022. The Indian government and automobile manufacturers are undertaking several initiatives to enhance electric mobility across the country, including deploying a wide network of charging stations and providing subsidies on the purchase of electric three-wheel. Ellers. India is expected to register significant growth over the forecast period. Thailand is projected to be the fastest growing country due to government policies promoting EVs and plans to create an EV manufacturing hub. The government's initiatives to develop smart cities, improve air quality, and meet carbon neutrality targets are driving the electric three-wheeler market in Thailand. Drivers and challenges. Key drivers for market growth include low operating and maintenance costs, government incentives and subsidies, advancements in battery technology, and the established market for three-wheelers in urban transportation. However, the market faces challenges like a low number of charging stations, limited power output, vehicle range and speed, and high initial investments. Key market players and developments. Major players in the market include Mahindra and Mahindra Limited, Atul Auto Limited, Piaggio Group, Sierra Electric Auto Private Limited, and Kinetic Green Vehicles. Recent developments include Mahindra and Mahindra Limited, receiving an investment for focusing on electric three-wheelers and small commercial vehicles, and Sierra Electric Auto partnering with AMU Leasing Private Limited to provide financing options for purchasing new EVs. In conclusion, the Asia-Pacific electric three-wheeler market is poised for significant growth, driven by technological advancements, supportive government policies, and the growing demand for sustainable and efficient transportation solutions. However, the market must navigate challenges related to infrastructure, vehicle capabilities, and high initial costs to realize its full potential. Electric three-wheelers across Asia. Asia's embrace of electric three-wheelers. Asia, notably China and India, is experiencing a significant shift towards electric three-wheelers. This transition is driven by several factors including urban congestion, air pollution concerns, and the need for efficient last-mile connectivity. Electric three-wheelers offer a practical solution for both passenger and goods transportation in densely populated cities. Government policies and incentives. In countries like India and China, government policies and incentives play a pivotal role in promoting the use of electric three-wheelers. For instance, India's FAME 2 scheme, faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles, and China's new energy vehicle, NEV, policy are instrumental in driving the adoption of these vehicles. These policies often include subsidies, tax rebates, and support for infrastructure development like charging stations. Scope and expansion of electric tiny vehicles in China and India. Market growth in China and India. China and India are leading the market in the adoption of electric three-wheelers. China's large-scale manufacturing capabilities and India's vast market for auto rickshaws present significant opportunities for the expansion of electric three-wheelers. Technological advancements and local manufacturing. Both countries are focusing on indigenous manufacturing and technological advancements in battery and motor technology. This not only reduces dependence on imports but also makes electric three wheelers more affordable and efficient. Western countries shift to electric vehicles for commercial purpose. Adoption in the West. In Western countries, there is a growing trend of using electric vehicles, EVs, for commercial purposes. This shift is largely driven by the need to reduce carbon emissions and meet stringent environmental regulations. Electric delivery vans, trucks, and buses are becoming increasingly common in cities across Europe and North America. Incentives and regulations. Western governments are offering various incentives to encourage the adoption of electric commercial vehicles. This includes grants, tax benefits, and low emission zones in urban areas. The European Union's Green Deal and the United States' various state-level incentives are examples of such initiatives. Market size of three-wheeler electric vehicles. Global market overview. The global market for electric three-wheelers is growing rapidly. According to market research, the Asia-Pacific region holds a significant share of this market, with India and China being the largest contributors. Future projections. The market is expected to expand further with the increasing demand for sustainable and cost-effective transportation solutions.
innovations in battery technology and the decreasing cost of EV components are likely to fuel this growth. Challenges and Future Outlook Infrastructure and Range Anxiety One of the major challenges in the adoption of electric three-wheelers is the lack of charging infrastructure and range anxiety among users. Governments and private companies are working to expand charging networks to address this issue. Sustainability and Supply Chain As the market grows, ensuring the sustainability of the supply chain for EV components, particularly batteries, is crucial. Recycling and ethical sourcing of materials like lithium and cobalt are important considerations. Technological innovations. Advancements in technology, such as improved battery capacity, faster charging, and integration with renewable energy sources, will be key to the future growth of the electric three-wheeler market. The shift towards electric three-wheelers in Asia and the adoption of electric vehicles for commercial purposes in Western countries represent a significant move towards sustainable transportation. With supportive government policies, technological advancements, and growing environmental consciousness, the market for electric three-wheelers is poised for substantial growth in the coming years. Market Overview and Growth Market Size and Forecast The Asia-Pacific electric three-wheelers market was estimated at USD 1.05 billion in 2022 and is projected to grow at a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 12.3% from 2023 to 2030. This growth is attributed to a combination of factors, including government initiatives encouraging electric vehicle adoption, the substantial growth of the e-commerce industry resulting in high demand for last-mile delivery services, and growing environmental awe. Airness. Country-specific insights. India is a major player in this market, holding over 51% of the market share in 2022. The growth in India is propelled by various government initiatives and the rising use of electric three-wheelers as an affordable commuting option. Thailand is also expected to be a fast-growing market for electric three-wheelers during the forecast period, driven by government policies to promote EVs and the development of smart cities. Market Segmentation Battery Type Insights The lithium-ion, Li-ion, segment dominates the market, accounting for over 60% of the overall market revenue in 2022. This dominance is due to the advantages of Li-ion batteries, such as longer life, compact size, and shorter charging time. Technological advancements in Li-ion batteries are expected to drive further growth in this segment. Power Insights The 1000W to 1500W segment accounted for the largest share of over 59% of the overall revenue in 2022. This segment's growth is driven by the demand for electric three-wheelers with increased power range which provides better vehicle efficiency and acceleration. End Use Insights The passenger carrier segment held the largest market share in 2022, mainly due to the demand for electric three-wheelers in public transportation and last-mile journeys. The goods carrier segment, meanwhile, is expected to register the fastest growth rate over the forecast period, driven by the rise in last-mile delivery solutions. Key Drivers and Challenges Drivers Low Operating and Maintenance Costs government incentives and subsidies, advancements in battery technology, and an established market for three-wheelers in urban transportation are key drivers of market growth. Challenges. The market faces challenges such as a low number of charging stations, limited power output, vehicle range and speed, limited battery capacity, high initial investments, and lack of standardization. Strategic developments and partnerships. Several key players in the market are focusing on strategic initiatives, such as partnerships, product launches, and mergers and acquisitions. For instance, partnerships between electric three-wheeler manufacturers and logistics service providers are increasingly common, as seen in the collaboration between Mahindra Electric Mobility Limited and Tarago Logistics for last-mile delivery solutions. Conclusion The Asia-Pacific electric three-wheelers market is poised for substantial growth, driven by technological advancements, supportive government policies, and growing demand for sustainable transportation solutions. While the market presents several opportunities, especially in the fields of passenger transport and last-mile delivery, it must navigate challenges related to infrastructure, vehicle capabilities, and costs to fully realize its potential. Future projections contrasted with historical outlook for electric three-wheeler market. The world is slowly but progressively stepping up the EV adoption ladder. Even though the level of acceptance or even saturation of electric vehicles might not be where it could be, the adoption trends demonstrate a consistent growing drift.
It is no surprise that two-wheelers are the market leaders, but according to FMI estimates, the adoption of EV three-wheelers has climbed significantly. As more people acquire knowledge of electric vehicles, a roadmap for electric three-wheelers becomes extremely relevant. Short-term, 2023 to 2026, several regions are attempting to increase battery production to contend with China, which now accounts for around 80% of the world's lithium-ion cell production capacity, to be self-reliant by 2025. Medium-term, 2026 to 2029, governments and non-governmental organizations to launch multiple schemes and programs to encourage individuals and corporations to adopt electric three-wheelers over gasoline vehicles. Long-term, 2029 to 2033, the increasing pollution control rules are likely to coerce manufacturers to inflate their research and development investment in electric three-wheelers, permitting them to promote themselves as the future of mass transit. Stay updated by subscribing to our channel as my project paper team strives to bring you more update on electric three-wheeler market.